And joining me now from Capitol Hill, Senator Johnny Isaacson, Republican of Georgia, who just this evening announced that he would be a no vote. Senator Isaacson, thanks for joining us. Uh, Senator Harry Reid, the majority leader, uh, pulled a vote that was supposed to take place Wednesday, a test vote on this authorization. How do you think uh, the results would have been if he had held the vote on Wednesday? Well, I don't know. You know, I do know that if you're the leader and you hold the agenda, if you pull a vote, it's generally because you don't have the votes, but I don't know that for a fact. The president uh, this evening told NBC that he wouldn't say he's confident he has the votes for in Congress. Do you think that the no votes are with the opposition? Do you think this would not pass uh, based on your talking to other senators? You know, Jake, I've traveled my state for nine days. I've listened to every Georgian that's called me. I've asked for their input. Never seen an issue before where more of the rank and file were so consistently in opposition. And if you boil it all down is they don't worry about day one when the strike takes place. They worry about day two, day three, and day four. What happens if Israel is hit? What happens if something goes wrong? Will there in fact be boots on the ground? And there have been statements from the administration, but no clear strategy. And I think that uncertainty on what happened on, what happened on day two, three, and four is the big problem for the administration. On the day that President Obama announced he was going to seek congressional authorization, you released a statement that said, quote, I support the use of military action in Syria. If we fail to take strong action against Syria for this horrendous attack, then we are sending a signal to Syria, as well as to Iran and North Korea, that they are accountable to no one. Aren't you now saying that you're going to send a signal to Iran, Syria, North Korea, that they're accountable to no one? No, to the contrary. They are accountable and we'll hold them accountable. This is about the plan and the strategy that's been proposed to us. This is not about the issue of should we hold people accountable. And even today, the fact that we're having this discussion, as you know, there are talks of Syria surrendering their weapons of mass destruction and their nerve gas. So it's having a positive effect and they know the lines there. So you would support this third way, this proposal from Senator John or Secretary John Kerry, uh, that if that if Syria were to give up their chemical weapons, the U.S. would not attack. That's OK with you. If it's for real, and I, and I heard the president's response to it, he said the same thing. If it's for real, I don't know that it's for real yet. It's got to be for real. But if it is, it's a positive move forward. Thank you, Senator. Johnny Isaacson, Republican Thanks, of Georgia. Jay.